everybody. My name is Ian Wright and I am the owner of a company called Ozone Services Industries which is based in Johannesburg, South Africa. And we specialize in ozone uh, solutions and ozone generator manufacture and import. Anything from very small units for domestic situations all the way up to mother big uh, industrial applications um, such as for pulp bleaching or for water purification on municipality sites, uh, mainly for disinfection and iron and manganese removal. This is my kitchen in Johannesburg. Um, as you can see, I'm a bachelor, so it's a very simple kitchen, some unwashed dishes uh, and a normal kitchen. Um, these, I've got a few props here. The first one I wanted to show you, which is one of the reasons or the main reason for the video is this machine here called the Aquazone ABS, which stands for Antibacterial Steriliser. This is an ozone generator which actually is activated when the water is switched on at the kitchen tap and a venturi draws in the ozone gas from the ozone generator and you end up here with ozonated water, which is what I'm going to show you we're going to use just now. The other ozone generator piece of equipment we have is a little small 250 milligram unit um, which obviously plugs in to the power supply and inside there's an air pump and then we have a stone here which is actually used to diffuse the gas into the water or whatever medium you're going to put it into. That you will see in a few moments time. Then we've got a couple of bowls of lettuce here which and you will also see what we've done as a result of that. This is a bottle of water which I collected from the river a couple of days ago and I have a video to show you when I collected this. Um, it was from a very polluted river and you can smell it. It actually smells polluted and if I shake it around a bit, I'm hoping that the video will be able to see uh, the sediment in here. You probably won't be able to see it. Uh, there is, you can see the, the stuff floating around in there. So this is water in severe need of purification. So the idea with the bottle, first of all, is that I'm going to place this into a glass because the stone won't fit into the top. I'm going to place this into a glass and then I'm going to ozonate it for about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds, and then I'll drink it uh, just to show you um, how effective the ozone can be or how much confidence I had in the ozone to be able to kill any impurities that may be in here. As far as the two bowls of lettuce are concerned, one we're going to rinse with ozonated water and the other one with ordinary water and watch the difference using time-lapse photography on another camera um, and with a timer to show you how long and what happens over a period of time. The obviously the ozonated water is going to come from the tap here um, and that really is it. I think we're ready to roll. Hello, I'm now at the Bromfontein Sprut in Johannesburg, runs right through the the outskirts of Johannesburg but as you can see it's known for being polluted so what I'm going to do is I've got a bottle here I'm going to fill it with water from the sprout Should have a lot of bugs in it, particles. 
So I'm going to take it home now and then ozonate it and then drink it. Let's see how we go. Okay, we're now ready for the next part of our little trial. Here's the bottle of water that came out of the river a couple of days ago. So the bugs have had lots of opportunity to grow. And it smells polluted. And it's obviously still got the suspended articles in it. And ready to ozonize. Um, I'm going to pour it into glass because the stone won't fit in the bottle. Uh, I've got the ozone generator running. Put it in there. Leave it for around 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And I'm confident, knowing ozone as I do, that it's going to work. It's going to kill all the bacteria that are in there. That are in there. Plus, other baddies such as guardia cysts and things like that which may well shouldn't be in there because they're normally in sewage but regardless if they are the ozone will kill it um, which as a matter of interest uh, uh, chlorine will not it won't have any effect so ozone is actually stronger and better than chlorine as a disinfectant so we're going to run it for the 30 seconds and then i will drink it to prove the confidence i have in the effect of ozone in purifying water. So we should have had enough time now. E. coli is very rapidly neutralized with ozone, which is the main worry in water like this, um, which would have come from sewage. Take the stone out. Smell it. Yeah, you can smell a bit of the residual ozone, but definitely none of the polluted smell that the water in the bottle had. So here goes. Tastes all right. In fact, it tastes normal. It's like ordinary water. So theoretically, I should, if the ozone hasn't worked, I should have an upset stomach within a day or so, or within a couple of hours, I would think. And if I die as a result, uh, then this video won't be published. So you have nothing to worry about, but I'm 100% confident that it will work, that I'll be fine, uh, that this water is now pure, having been ozonated. Wish me luck. I'm now going to show you what a dramatic effect ozonated water rinse can have on fresh food. I have here two bowls of lettuce that just come out of the supermarket packet. I'm going to rinse one under ozonated water and the other one under ordinary water, no ozone. And then I'm going to place them in front of a camera with time-lapse photography, which will take a picture every five seconds. And then I'm going to start the camera and then show you what actually happens with the lettuce when I put it under the camera. So, ozonated water. Rinse. Ozone off. Ordinary water. Place under the camera. Make sure everything's lined up. Switch on the camera. What will happen, obviously, as you will see, is that the lettuce will rise dramatically, giving an indication that it's actually absorbed the oxygen and that it's now fresh and tasty. And the idea is 
once you've seen that, uh, that if you rinse any of your fresh food with ozonated water instead of ordinary water, it's going to extend the shelf life dramatically. Um, it kills the surface bacteria, so if you're worried about your prawns or your chicken, um, salmonella or something like that, if you rinse with ozonated water, it's going to kill the surface bacteria, extend shelf life, and also it will be safe and tasty. It won't have the tainted, the taint of a germicide or bactericide or even something like chlorine. Well, here yeah, you can clearly see the lettuce on the right, which has been treated with ozonated water fluffing up within a few minutes, 15 minutes or so. Here yeah, you can show it again. 40 minutes starting, now it's ending up. And it's now on to about 60 minutes and it's fluffed up fully. And again, for the last time, the one on the left, which has been rinsed with ordinary water, remains the same, whereas the one on the right puffs up as a result of the ozone. Okay, now we're still in the same kitchen, and I just wanted to show you another machine, and this is a, a unit, another ozone generator, which is pretty much similar to the ABS in terms of output. However, it has an air pump inside it, which enables us to pump the ozone gas rather than rely on suction through a stone, an air stone, and then we can put it into a glass of water to see what effect it has. So what I'm going to do for the purposes of this is I've got some food colorant here. I put some of this into the water. Stir it around a bit. And then place the stone in the water and let's see what happens. What I'm going to do now is to switch to another camera which is going to show with time-lapsed photography what effect this will have. Well, as you can see, it's taken 15 minutes to go from the coloured water to clear. Um, I'm just showing it to you a couple of times. Here's another view of it. Clearly you can see the effect the ozone has on the water. So there you have it. Good reason to have ozone in your home for purifying your water, freshening up your vegetables, making sure there's no surface bacteria on your chicken or your prawns or other such like things and getting rid of salmonella or E. coli, etc. The Aquazone products are produced by Ozone Services Industries situated in Johannesburg, South Africa www.ozoneyes.co.za